The former UFC heavyweight champion Cain Velasquez pleaded no contest in a San Jose courtroom today for attempted murder. The charges stem back to a high-speed chase in 2022 when the former fighter shot at a suspected pedophile. Crown 4's Rob Nesbitt spoke with the deputy district attorney who has been the main prosecutor on the case. The case against Cain Velasquez has been in the spotlight for the last two years because of his celebrity status, but also because of the way he took the law into his own hands. Cain Velasquez faces multiple charges, including attempted murder, after seeking revenge on suspected pedophile Harry Goulart, who allegedly molested one of Velasquez's children at a daycare. The former UFC fighter engaged in a high-speed chase across San Jose, firing shots at Goulart and Goulart's mother and father-in-law. The intended target was uninjured, but his father-in-law survived being hit by several bullets. He took the law into his own hands, and we have excellent law enforcement in this county, and that he should have gone and used them. Instead, he put the, li the lives of so many people in danger. Velasquez changed his plea from not guilty to no contest Friday. Cron 4 legal analyst Michael Cardoza explained the difference between that and a guilty plea. Meaning, I'm not going to contest this. You've got enough evidence to convict me. I'm not going to admit I did this. So I will plead no contest. Cardoza says this is often done when a defendant is worried about civil lawsuits for the same crime. The former UFC fighter has gained several supporters, including a group that called for him to be free of his charges. His status as a celebrity is not something that I consider when I'm crafting a resolution to this case and when I'm going to the judge and I'm asking him to hold this defendant accountable for his actions. The 2022 incident took place along Highway 101, as well as an 11-mile stretch of busy San Jose streets. Prosecutors emphasize that bullets were sprayed near an elementary school crowded with children. We need a sentence that not only gives justice to the victims that were in that car, but also a sentence that demonstrates that the defendant's use of gun violence in our county is unacceptable. Velasquez remains out of custody on bail. His next court appearance is scheduled for October 18th. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.